Hello again and welcome to the next video in my mini-series. Um, I'm feeling a little bit, well I shouldn't say a little bit, very ill today and I don't want to be in front of the camera and so I figured I would be behind the camera. And so this is the eye products. I split the eye products into three different categories. These are mascaras, liners, etc. And then I have a couple more that are shadows and miscellaneous eye products. And so these are the products that either did not work for me or were just, I guess, not great or just stuff that I don't use anymore. And these, um, as I've explained in the last couple of videos, are things that I've accumulated over the last two years. Um, and I've just been collecting them in a box. And so some of them just got old, some of them I didn't like, etc. So, um, let's start with this on top. When I first used this, um, the L'Oreal Million Lashes, I really did like it. Um, and the only reason that I stopped using it is because I found mascaras that I liked better. Um, I liked Tarte's um, Lights Camera Lashes a lot better, and I loved Benefits that are real a lot better than this. And so I just don't use this one anymore, and so that is why that is in here. Um, okay, let's see. This one here, another mascara. I bought this because, I don't remember who it was, somebody was raving that they really liked this, and they combined it with a different mascara. And as many times as I tried to use this, I could never really get it to work well for me. It just didn't give me that cat eye effect that I wanted, and it didn't separate very well. And so I got rid of that because I just, I don't know, I really didn't like it. So, um, I have a Maybelline Great Lash here. This one might be a surprise to you guys. I used to use this on my eyebrows. I would just comb through. It was kind of a little bit darker than it, like a tinted brow gel would be, but I just combed through my eyebrows with this and, you know, I just left it. Um, and then I tried it as a mascara. I personally think as a mascara it does not work for me at all. Um, and that's because I needed something that was more volumizing, more lengthening, more everything that this did not seem to be for me at least. And I know a lot of people love the Great Lash Mascara. I did not. So, and then when I was coloring in my eyebrows, I used this, which is why it's kind of dirty, as kind of like a setting brow gel. The reason I stopped using this is because it um, got to the point where it was just a little bit too, like, watery. And I would pencil in my brows and then put this over it and it would just kind of wipe away what I had just done and so that's why I stopped using that. Um, okay, so a lot of mascaras in here. This one, this one just plain dried out and so that is why I don't use this one anymore. So this is not necessarily a product that I didn't like, um, but I used it, this is one of the very first mascaras I ever bought and I bought it at, on clearance and it was really great. It was probably one of the better mascaras that I've used. It reminds me a lot of that like smoky lash one that I have now um, but and I don't know if they make this one anymore but if they do it's a really great one to pick up so that's the only reason that's in here is because I just don't um, it's all dried up so it's not used up it just dried up so and then this one this is the covergirl lash blast fusion mascara and this one is another one of those mascaras where after a while I just found things that I liked better if I had to compare this one to a high-end one, I would compare this probably to Benefits That Are Real Mascara, just because it does give you that volume and length um, that you do, you know, look for in a mascara. And um, I just don't use this one as much anymore, and so that's why that's in there. Um, okay, these little things, I have two of them. I bought two of the same color because I thought I would like it. Uh, the only reason I'm not using these anymore is because of the shade. The shade on these is the light brown, and the light brown for some reason looks a little bit too, like, it's almost like a taupey green kind of color, and it doesn't look good on my eyebrows. It looks better if it's darker, so I have this exact same pencil in dark brown, and it looks so much better, and I love it to death. So that's why these are in here, is because they are the wrong shade for me. And then this, um, I love, love, love the Physician's Formula pencils. Um, I have like the Nude Eyes Trio. I had this, uh, this was part of the, I think this was for like Hazel or Green Eyes Trio. And then I have like the new, or not that I already said that, the, there's a smoky one. Anyways, this one, just this particular pencil didn't work very well. The purple doesn't come out. It's like kind of splotchy when you try and put it on, so it's not like... 
I don't know, it just doesn't glide on as well as the others, and so I stopped using it because I just didn't like it, so. Um, okay, for primers, I just have this e.l.f. eyelid primer. Some people love it and swear by it. I decided to try it because it's only like a dollar, and it didn't, it still creased, like a lot, and so that's why I stopped using it, is because I have to have, because of my super oily skin, I have to have a primer that does not crease, and this one just didn't do anything for me, so I quit using that. And then this, this was a concealer slash highlighting thing from e.l.f. as well, and the um, concealer creased under my eyes, and the highlighter, I just, I'm not sure how to use this. It's too, way too white, and just doesn't blend very well for me, so that is why that's in there. Um, this, I heard a lot of people had problems with this. This is the mascara that was in the last Ipsy bag. And for those of you that got it, you all have the same reaction that I did. So I'm really glad to see that I wasn't the only one that thought this was super runny. And just putting it on your lashes was god awful. Like, it was horrible. And I love Pixi products. Like, the Pixi primer that I got is my Holy Grail primer. This, however, I don't know why, but it was so, like, runny putting on. And so I think it's the actual mascara because everybody else had the same problem. I thought maybe it was just mine, but it isn't. So that is why that is going bye-bye is because, yeah, it was just terrible. So out of the group, I always give my one, like, bad review for things if I have to give it a bad review. And this, I'm definitely going to give a bad review to. And I don't really feel bad about it because everybody else did too and so I'm glad that nobody <laughs> nobody could find a way to make this work so well I guess I'm not glad but I'm glad that I'm not the only one um this I decided to try because I was gonna try the um, Revlon Smoky Shadow Sticks and I saw this and I liked the shades in this one better so I bought it um but this one is another one of those products that it has potential to be great but it just didn't work at all. Like the eyeshadow on here, you had to like scrub and scrub. Not even scrubbing is the right word. Just like really try and cake it on your eyes. And by the time you were done getting enough pigment on your eyes, your eyeballs hurt from pressing so hard. And so with or without primer, this just did not, like it didn't matter how many times you like swatched it or whatever. It just did not um, apply at all. And so that's why I quit using that. Um... This I decided to try on a whim. It's really, really pretty. It's a NYX crystal like liquid liner. I might give this another try before it like permanently goes bye-bye. Um, just to see, you know, what I think. And that's the uh, same thing with a couple of these. But this is one of those products that I liked it and I wasn't super impressed with it. And so, I don't know. Like I said, I might give it one more go before, you know, it uh, has a proper burial. But, um... Other than that, and then I have a bunch of these NYX Jumbo Pencils. Um, the first one here is this dark one, and this is a slate um, Jumbo Pencil, and this I just didn't like the color, and it didn't blend very well. It was really hard to blend, and so I just, I don't really use this one anymore. Um, yeah. And then, these are going to be very surprising, and this is another one of those products I think I might hang on to, even though I haven't used it in probably like... I know several years and this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Um, I used this forever which is why it's kind of short and all cracked and stuff and I really did like it but I just don't use it anymore for some reason and so I might like put this back into my like testing like I have a bin of stuff where I like am trying it out before it like either stays or goes and so I might put that in there too. Um, and then this one is in uh, Lavender and this just did not show up on my eyes really well. I had the same story as that Almay one where no matter how many times I like swatched it, it, the color just didn't come out. And so that's why I don't use that one. And then these I have two of and these are the ones in Strawberry Milk. And these just, it's just too, way too light of a shade of pink for me and it just doesn't show up on my skin at all. And so um, that is why I am getting rid of those. And so that is that box. Um, so yeah, that's all of the eye, like mascaras, pencils, whatever, that did not work for me. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.